man, victory. It's it's something. It's better than any drug, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, I, I used to be a druggie, man. I used to be all kinds of shit, man. But there's no kind of high like when you get your hand raised from winning, you know. So I love, I love, I love competition as it is. You know what I mean? So when you win and you get to prove that you're the best, there's no other thing like that on earth, man. So man, just that's the best feeling. There's an ultimate high. It's like, you know, you know they say the cloud nine. I feel like I'm on cloud like eleven sometimes. I'm up there when after I win, you know. So I just love winning, bro. You know what? The, the best one I can show you right now. It's one of my. It's, I just. I literally just got it yesterday. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tattoos. It, it's a. It's. It's in a. Uh, ooh, what's that? What's that thing called? It's. In, it's in the shape of a spade. It's from Alice in Wonderland. It says, "We're all mad here." <laughs> it's one of my favorite tattoos. Like it, it's right now. It's my favorite one because I just got it. Somebody said, as a kid, we idolize the heroes, but as adults, we understand the villains. You know what I mean? And to me, once the Joker movie, it all made sense. It, it's real. You know, it's a mad world out there. And you got to be a little mad to survive out here. You know what I mean? So that's why I got the tattoo. I love it. <laughs> Man, it's funny because um, for years I wanted to get it covered up because I think it was kind of childish at the time. But I'm actually going to keep it now because um, it was it was the first tattoo one of my exes ever did. You know, she 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 loves to draw and all that kind of stuff. And um, she was practicing on pig skin for like a week. And me and her were living together. She was living with me. And she said she wanted to do her first tattoo. I was like, well, I want fear. And people, like, I say fear, but it, does, it really has F dot e dot a dot uh r is because it stands for face everything and rise i don't believe you should have fear you know what i mean you should face it and rise from it you know and yeah i was i was her first tattoo you know what i mean that was her first tattoo this was uh ooh, like four yeah four years ago man and it means the world to me now and it sucks because um sadly man she's fr she's gone from this earth man like i guess god called up another angel you know but uh, that's what i'm gonna keep it for now on yeah, the fear stands for face everything and rise i don't believe as a human being we should have fear i believe we should uh, conquer all of our fears and we should conquer the world. So that's what it stands for. That's what it means to me. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. <laughs> it's nerves are a good thing. Nerves keep you sharp. So I tell everybody, go in there with nerves. Don't be, don't be, don't be afraid to be nervous. That's a good sign. And it keeps you sharp and keep you on your toes. You know what I mean? Like I said, you're, you know, you're in trouble when you don't have nerves. But um, yeah, man, I actually, I love being backstage. I usually put my music in and I love just sitting there. I love getting my hands right by my coach. And I'll sit there for a good second, for a good like song or two, just accepting it like inviting all the nerves all the feelings the doubts the the hopefulness everything I, mean, I invite all of it because like i said fighting is the is the purest thing in the world to me it's you're, you're gonna win you're gonna lose and it's just i love feeling i love every feeling that comes with with this sport you know and so that's why i give myself a good time to just sit there and just accept it all because you like I, I believe we are masters or masters of our own fate you know i believe you go out there you decide if you want to win or lose you know and I just love it, man. I love all the feelings leading up to it. I love being in there. I love, I love the feel of getting hit, man. You know what I mean? I love getting hit, and I love that. You like your brain's like, what the fuck's going on? Kind of feeling, you know. And I love trying to, um, like in my last fight with Marcel, man, he hit me a couple times where my eye kind of like faded on me. My left eye kind of like it, it would work, but it was like I couldn't really see him. You know what I mean? And it just like I love that kind of shit. But looking back. I love all the bumps, the bruises. I love all the good shit that comes with this. I love fighting, man. No, 100%. I tell people all the time, if if I wasn't a fighter, if I wasn't at MMA, I'd probably be dead or in jail right now. It's because um, it's, it's not, mm, how to say this? My mother, like, you know, I was raised by a single mother. Um, me and my sister were raised by a single mother. Um, she did the best she could for us and she actually did the best she, she my mom is the best mom ever i tell people that all the time not a lot of people have a lot of uh, loving family in their lives my mom went above and beyond for me and my sister it's it's just me and my sister not having a father there puts a hole in your heart you know what i mean and you you try to fill that hole with anything you'll find that resembles a father or or whatever you look for and and you know what i mean and, and, and during that time and so me and my sister uh for years just kept finding the wrong people uh to get along with and they kind of put us in the I, I, I so i tell people me and my sister put ourselves in the wrong places in life again my mom did the best she could for she did the she, she did the best she, she did and the reason uh the reason i am who i am now is because uh, of who I am, who my sister was, and what we did. Like, say, again, me and my sister went out of our way to find trouble, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? And I'm glad, like I said, if it was for fighting, if it wasn't for uh, Fleet Gentry to get me away from all that, bro, I, again, I'd be in jail or in prison right now, so. I'm sorry, I'd be in prison or dead right now. But um, like I said, I'm out of it. Uh, all my friends who are still in it, I pray that you find a way out of it. Hey, if MMA gets you out of it, shit, I'll come pick you up, girl, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, MMA saved my life. 
and I, I, that's why I'm grateful for it. I owe everything to MMA. Um, I want Kyle Stewart. Me and Kyle Stewart were supposed to fight early this year. We we're supposed to fight on um, LFA, but the car got the fight got scrapped because he got the UFC call at the last minute. You know, so congratulations for him to get the UFC call. Um, I believe it's my time now. You know, I never, I'll never rush anything. Like, and I tell people, they're like, Jerry, what are you gonna do if the UFC calls? If they call, they call. If they don't, they don't. But I said, I want Kyle Stewart next. If he's not, I don't know what I got next after that. I'm gonna talk to my manager. Uh, me, and, me and my manager are talking tomorrow, actually. But like I said, if I if I get to choose who I want next, I want Kyle Stewart. I, I know he wants to bang. I love to bang. I have to show my last fight. Let's go.